Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mojo Grip Mike Plane Showcase. Today we're checking out a stole airplane. Uh, this is actually the biggest stole plane that I've ever seen. And it's an experimental. Stay tuned, we're gonna check out the Murphy Moose. Today's video is brought to you by CoFly. CoFlight is perhaps the most important tool that you need for your aircraft maintenance. Think of it as a one-stop shop to schedule your maintenance, coordinate with your AP mechanic, and keep proper records of everything. CoFlight also has some cool features like keeping digital records of your logbook and a built-in schedule for multiple partners who may share the same aircraft. The best part about CoFlight is that everything is done by the tip of your fingers. You can get started using CoFlight today absolutely free. When you use the coupon code MOJOGRIP, you can get started today for 30 days absolutely free. Check out coflight.com or use the link in the description below. Lo and behold, this guys is the Murphy Moose. Uh, one of the largest tail wheel planes that you see around. Uh, this plane again is experimental, which means you'd have to buy a kit and build one but you can also buy one used. And this particular one was actually bought complete as an airplane. Murphy Aircraft is a Canadian manufacturer and they've been building these for quite some time. This one here is a 96 model, so it's been around for a while, but also this is serial number one, okay? You see there, Murphy Moose? This is serial number one and you've seen, you may have seen this airplane around with different engines. Uh, that's one of the things with experimental is you can have your own choice of engine as long as the power to weight ratio is good. But you see here, no joke, tail wheel. And it's just, it's amazing to me how long the, the airframe of this airplane is. It's, it's a pretty large plane. And we'll check out the interior in a bit, but you can see through here, this is actually, you can make it a six seater but as you can see, the owners kind of went short there and they're using this airplane for their own mission. But it's a pretty, pretty large airplane. So about that engine, this one is equipped with the Lycoming 0540. Uh, so it's a 250 horsepower engine and it makes this thing a beast pretty much. And that's stow capability. Now they tell you with the Moose, you can take off within 600 feet uh, take off a land within 600 feet, but you talk to owners and pilots who fly this plane and they tell you they can take off within 200 feet sometimes. It, it all depends. It all depends on who's flying it and if you, you know, whatever type of fun you're trying to have. Now, another background history about this and why this airplane is serial number one, this was actually built off of a predecessor, the Super Rebel. Okay, so before the most came along, they had the Super Rebel, and this model, basically, they added more load to it. So that way you can carry more, uh, you can go more places. So the Super Rebel, I think the gross weight for that was 2,500 pounds. And this plane, the Moose, has a full gross weight of 3,500 pounds. And so what was changed about this model, they beefed up the landing gear here. Uh, I believe they also beefed up the wings. So that way you can carry more, literally a thousand pounds more is what you can carry in this plane. You can see, let me step back actually, so you see the size of those wings. And this is what allows you to get those short takeoff and short landing. And I wish you guys can see this plane because it's, it's pretty big. I'm so short right next to it. I'm like right here standing next to it. So it's, it's a pretty sizable airplane. But you know what? Let's check out the interior. Let me tell you a little bit about the actual comfort and cabin of this plane. Now, you come in the interior space. The main front cabin area is actually very wide. A lot of space here. As you can see, the, the seats scroll and don't mind all of this they're actually working on this plane right now and i'll show you some of the stuff that they're working on so depending on who owns this plane or what your mission is you can fill up the cabin with however many seats you want you can definitely fill it up with up to six seats so this plane can carry six people but as you can see the owners of this plane they only have four that's because they're more interested in carrying a lot of load 
back here. Let me show you. And I love also how the uh, the baggage door is almost just as large as the main door. So you see here, look at all this space. So this is more for the adventurous pilot. You know, you want to carry some load. You want to go uh, camping or you want to go kayaking, whatever. Hell, you can even stuff a bike in there if you want. So you got the room there to be able to, to use that space. And you can still carry passengers. Now we come back up here. This is what's happening here. Now another differentiator you see with the moose is you got the center stick. Okay, so this is not a yoke. You've got a center stick. Uh, you look here. You've got your throttle prop mixture. So you have a constant speed prop for this plane. I believe that was heart soul uh, up there. It's a two-bladed prop. And that's how you get the good performance you get with this plane. Now you look on the, on the panel here you can see that they're they're doing some upgrades with their with their avionics uh, so this airplane technically is supposed to be IFR certified uh, obviously the equipment you use is what makes you IFR certified and here they had a dine on screen and so they're gonna replace it with another dine on sky view uh, a newer version and then you go to the middle here you've got the Ivadine and I believe this is the 440 that's what make this IFR. You've got the ADSB compliant uh, equipment there. That's Stratus. And then on the right, that's a Garmin G5. That's for backup. So they're basically trying to bring this plane up to up to speed with modern uh, avionics. And it, you can see almost everything is done. You can see the wire harness in there. So all they have to do is just connect uh, to the to the panel once they once they get it, uh, but very neat here. You see here they also have this is vinyl, and you can see the old wood is still here. And they're basically going to replace they're going to replace this with this. Uh, they're waiting for for the rest of the vinyl to be able to replace everything. So this airplane is, is going to come to speed and, and look a lot better. Um, up front here, nothing fancy. You've got your rudder. And I just love how open all of this is. Rarely often do you see this much stuff, okay, in an in a airplane cabin. Normally the, the, the rudder is tucked away and you have all of this like going all the way down, but there's so much room. So if you're on the bigger side, this plane is perfect. Like you will not struggle to have room to move around here you've got long legs that's fine you've got a longer waist that's fine you can scroll the seat back as much as you want so there's a lot of room there's a lot of space here again center stick so you you have that room also to wiggle around and the cabin width i don't know at the top of my head but i'll leave in the description below uh, but you can see just how wide this cabin is so even when you have two people sitting side by side you'll still have uh, more than enough room. So there you see, guys, this is an airplane that can serve quite a few missions. Again, it's a stole plane, so depending on where you are, if you live in Alaska, for example, this plane comes in handy, you know? Comes in handy, you can take it on cross-country flight, and as a matter of fact, the owner uses this plane both for pleasure and for work, and they travel out of town a lot with it. Uh, in terms of the performance, uh, you're getting about 130 knots, and you've got about 80 gallons of fuel total. So you can go places with this thing. Now, the fuel burn is not always economical, okay? The, the average you plan for with this airplane, you're looking at about 14, 15 gallons of fuel per hour that you're burning, uh, going 130 knots. But again, it's a, it's a pretty sizable plane, so... If you're flying alone, sure, the, the fuel cost seems higher, but when you pack it up and you're either flying with more people or with more load, then it doesn't, it's, it doesn't look as bad. Now, how much does this thing cost? In terms of your purchase price, you're looking at 80 to 100 grand if you find this used. That's the set price. Anywhere you look right now, a Murphy Moose will cost you that much. Now, also depending, I know some, being an experimental, some airplanes or some of these models have different uh, engines, may not be a certified engine. The Lycoming 
Oh, Ford is a pretty popular engine. So you may find some with uh, even car engines, like a GM engine in them, and those may cost you less or more. But for the most part, you're spending about eighty to hundred thousand uh, dollars for a used plane. If you wanted to build one brand new, uh, the kit I believe also starts around eighty grand. So either way, just around a hundred grand is, is what you're looking at just to, to get in one of these. But if you're able to, the mission envelope is endless. Uh, this is a plane you can take out for fun. You can take it out to actually serve a proper uh, cross-country flight and you can carry load. That is to me one of the benefit of this thing. And you don't need a lot of runway. This thing will take off within 600 feet. So this is a plane that can get you in and out of places very, very quickly. As long as you have your tailwheel endorsement. Okay guys, this is my review of the Murphy Moose. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also guys, a great way to support the channel is by becoming an MVP member. Uh, make sure you head on to mojogroup.net forward slash MVP and you can sign up there. And make sure you subscribe with notification bell on if this is your first time. Guys, I appreciate all the support. Thank you all so much for watching and spending time with me. Again, my name is Mike and I will catch you all on the next video.